hey hi everyone this is animesh once again and welcome to my video this is a part two of the secure plus configuration between ansible one to the control node so in my last video i showed you clearly how you can configure how you can install secure plus uh, and i installed that in control node so as you can see in front of my screen you have this control node we have this ansible one we try to transfer from ansible one to control and when secure plus was configured in control node it was the, the transfer was failing and the reason was simple because there is a mismatch ansible one doesn't support secure plus control supported and it was configured for secure plus now let's get started i'll recap a little bit of my previous video previous uh, sayings uh, whatever i said in my last video so let me show you a few of the files so here i have the github repo where i have configured and and placed all the certificate file the key file uh, ignore this file this is for some other reason and i have put together the secure plus customization script for the ansible one and the control node there is a bit of update here i'll show you exactly what it is so let's get started let me disable this all right okay so let's go inside cdu nix okay so i will copy the script from my github repo this is the control node let me open that i just copy this whole thing you can follow along with me sp customization underscore control dot sh in my last video i ran this file i'm going to rerun this with a little bit of update i'll show you what is update okay so one step was missing in my last video and that is the updating the remote node this is a very important step along with the local node local node is the control node for this particular node and the remote node is the ansible one so we have to configure the remote node so what we are saying here is hey ansible one is my remote node and the remote node should use tls 1.2 and this is the key cert level the control is the key cert level in this server in the cms file and yeah you can use any cypher cypher suits that is supported and that's it so you just have to make this update but i have given that already in my github repo for your convenience all right so just run it and need to change the mode yep it's running okay yep the specified file okay i did not copy the key cert file all right let's do that ndm secure plus certificates inside that certificates i'll keep that key cert file key cert and i'm going to copy that from my repo key cert remember that you should not miss a single line or a single character from this file it will not work certificates are very very sensitive that's the key cert file there is a cert file as well which you need to copy let me go back cert I normally use the shift key to select all right okay i have the key cert file and the cert file let's go back and run the script again it should work hopefully okay there is another error errors are good because we are 
we will learn from errors the specified node ansible one do not exist in this param file param file is nothing but the netmap file so when it was trying to sync it did not see this ansible one node so let me go back to my configuration control open the netmap file yep there is no ansible one configuration so just copy this one you know and that's it and change the control to ansible one so i'm defining it of course the communication info would be ansible one if your node is different use the name accordingly let's go back and run it once again etc yep hopefully it should run now great zero errors warnings are there as i mentioned before warnings are okay as long as you don't have any errors we are good all right so what we did we exactly configured the secure plus we, ex we configured the local node we configured the remote node we configured the ssl you know all right so now what we need to do is we need to validate that the transfer will fail because the other node ansible one doesn't really support secure plus okay but before that let me restart the endium okay i'm killing the process you can go to the direct prompt and stop it somehow i find that that's not really necessary and this is my not my production environment let me get the startup commands yep need to go to the endium bin okay let's run it wow is it started yep it started all right that's good we are good with the control node now let's go back to the other node ansible one where secure plus has not been configured so let's try to transfer the file it should fail and then i'll show you how to configure the secure plus here in ansible node as i mentioned before i did a recap a recap a little bit here so that you it, it's easy for you to understand you know so i let me go to the indium bin direct okay it's a direct prompt and now i will copy my standard file transfer code okay yep submitted process process number is three let me select the process sorry for the background noise select stat sorry yep there is a failure the failure reports cspa cs stands for csp so sp stands for secure plus let's see the details So same error as we got in our previous video secure plus session attempted with non-secure plus node great now we are back to square right now let me stop the endium and configure the secure plus over here it's easy just follow the same steps you can follow along with me all right secure plus is stop let's go to the etc i'll copy the script once again from my repo now i'll copy it for the ansible one server the difference is very shuttle it's just the targets and what is the remote node you can go over the difference oops i'm so sorry
all right here you can see the remote node is control because this is the ansible one so my remote node is control and uh, rest of the things are same key start level ansible one ansible one yeah you can go through that okay now i have to copy the key cert as well Oops, Secure Plus is not configured here. Okay, I need to go and install the Secure Plus first. Sorry about that. I will use the same steps as my previous video to install the secure plus so i will pause the video and install it so that i don't spend time here all right so now the secure plus has been installed it has been installed but not yet configured so let's go back to our ndm so now you can see that secure plus directory is there so let's copy that keycert file certificates so i have the keycert file i'll copy it here and just to let you know guys i'm using self-signed certificate feel free to use your ca signed certificate in case you have it this is just for demo purpose so i don't really care just want to show you how it works then i need to copy the cert i'm using the same certificate and key cert file for both ansible one and control okay cert is there all right i just need to run the sample cast here which i have copied There may be an error, let's see. Yep, control do not exist. So we have to add the control node even in our param file. So same thing, whatever we did for the other node, right? We have to go to the netmap file, add the entry, at the end of the line and you can edit it basically i'm copy i'm doing a copy paste of the last one so it's straightforward control only thing you need to change is the communication info if you want to communicate to the control node you, this is the dns okay all right so hopefully it should work let's see yep ansible one great zero error nine warnings doesn't matter i don't care about the warnings zero errors so that means it should work now secure plus has been configured here installed and configured here and previously we installed and configured in control node so ideally the secure plus communication should work from ansible one to control node now and if we see the detailed statistics we should be able to see the certificate details what is used for the communication and we can see that really the communication is happening on based on a certificate or it's a plain communication so let's see okay i need to set the api config just give me a moment all right what's that 
connection refuse oh I did not start it sorry about that I have to start this hopefully it started yep it started now I'll give the start the direct command prompt yep now let's try to transfer the file now let's try it out yep submitted process number four let's see the stat pnm equals four yep it is successful zero x message 252i is successful but this is not enough information let's check out the details great so here are the details i'll go over exactly all the steps so copy process this was the name of our process it started and the process went from the wait state to the execute state and now here is the secure plus communication so it proves that ansible one is communicating to control using certificate and these are the certificate details wow and this is the cipher this is the protocol tls version 1.2 and you can see that process started local step started then again copying it's doing the copy and this is the certificate so in every step you can see that secure plus is now coming into consideration you know yep so that's the end of my video uh, thanks for watching you can see that how we can configure secure plus basically install secure plus and configure between two nodes and transfer files securely and check the details as well all right okay thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more such videos i'll be releasing more of mq videos more of connect direct videos uh, slowly so please subscribe and do like my videos thank you so much goodbye